All right, what's up guys? I know a lot of you guys want to follow up on this injured head unit install. We got the piece from um, a Toyota 8.6 2017 model. It's a Canadian piece right here. Fits it super flush. And then we got the metric kit. Links down in the description below on where you can get this dash piece, this dash trim, I mean, and then this dash kit to fill in the gaps. And it's looking real nice. The black trim piece I thought initially would look kind of ugly, but honestly it looks perfectly fine. Um, it matches with this black piece too, it's like the same color. Um, but yeah, check it out. Let's go over a little bit more of the wiring harness and two while we're at it. I'm going to get put the links below on... Um, oops, this one piece here. We're going to links below on more information. This is a six pin. Uh, I'll just put all the, all the harnesses below but to get what you need and then if you have any questions just comment below on what wires you guys need but look at that trim piece I we do not have any mounting stuff on this but because this trim piece it's basically friction on pretty good um, it's on there really good I don't think we need any to mount it and then you can still touch the screen without it like plopping out I mean unless you punch it but yeah so <laughs> All right guys, so I have the main wiring harness that branches to these wires. The wi the links, the, the wires I link below, these co the colors actually match one for one. So just match all the colors pretty much and you're gonna be good. As far as the backup camera, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm gonna put a link in the description below on the wiring diagram. You need to have your 28 pin. Uh, I don't know, you can see my setup, but I actually had to modify the 28 pin to get the reverse camera if you have a 2016. If you don't, you don't have to really worry about that. Ask the questions below if you do need help. Uh, then, Because I have it uh, converted down to see this brown wire right here. It needs to hook up to a 28 pin and then follow up by the... Um, this is the wire for the 12 volt to 6 volt adapter. So it's a little bit confusing, just ask questions below. And then you have your normal 10 pin, uh, your, your 10 and six pin. This is for your main bulk of your wires. And again, those are color matched with the harnesses here, as well as, well as the antenna. It's pretty, I know it's pretty messy, but I'll link a clear picture down on the um, description. And yeah, let's just pop it back in. Uh -huh. Damn. Oh. Damn, look at that. Fitment. No issues with the fitment. Alright, so let me uh woo. that's I need to lower the ice so okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wipe it up. Awesome, 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 yeah. Look at that, look at the man, let's turn it on. I actually get some reflections I don't see in real life. Oh, it got bent and distorted. It's not bad. Yeah, that's fine. I really like this Pinella one because it, um, some Andrew had... You gotta do that all again because we did it. Uh, we unplugged the whole system. Well, I really like this one because it goes to all the way to the top. Some of the uh, double, even like I think the Pioneer one's 198. This is actually 200, so you don't get that two millimeter of clearance issues. And wow, it looks good. All right, let me know if you guys have any other questions on the install. That's pretty much it. Mostly, it's this dash piece that's really sets it off. It's uh, from the 2017 Canadian FRS, not FRS, 8.6, there's no more FRS. So this is a Toyota 8.6 piece. It's one piece and man, it looks good. Look at that trim. <laughs> Does that not look good? It's uh, like a faux, faux um, leather, but it looks good. It looks a lot better than if you have a BRZ than these like what like vinyl looking things or whatever this is right here it's nice and soft okay anything that you want to say to the people 
I'm overall satisfied with the way this looks. I'm glad I bought this. I know um, I had an option of getting a carbon fiber one, but I opted for this one because I thought, you know, red stitching would look good with the interior. And plus with a carbon fiber one, it'll look good, but it's just so shiny. The sun will just reflect off of it and it'll just bug the crap out of me. <laughs> so I like the way this looks. And we're very glad we got this trim piece right here. And it fits without any modifications. Yeah, we don't even have it mounted, but we honestly don't Look need it because it's so stable. If you push on it, it won't fall off. It's so, it's fit snug. So you don't have to worry about mounting it or anything. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Leave com comments below. Peace.